How's it going, everyone? Hope everyone's had a, had a good uh, Thanksgiving holidays. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't sure I wasn't going to be able to stream this week because of the holidays and family, but I guess uh, uh, my girlfriend was going to go meet up with a couple of her friends, and I was like, sweet, I have some time to just stream a little bit. Um, and then probably take a nap or something before we hang out again tonight. But, um, yeah, so just stream this, the usual, uh, rock list, uh, here. Uh, once Moto actually loads, my camera's been kind of slow today. Uh, here we go. So, yeah, so, um, nothing out of the ordinary, um, the recent change that I made compared to like the past couple of times I streamed is I added a fifth fetch, um, had uh, a, a two two split between Quagmire and Tree Top Village. I think the last time I f my five ball got posted, I was doing a three one Tree Top split versus Quagmire, uh, three Tree Top one Quagmire split. Uh, but I think that over the course of a bunch of leagues, the, the lack of black switches started hurting. Uh, this current configuration right now has 17. I think you want 18, so I'm cheating a little bit still, but it's better than 16, which is what I had last time. Um, other than that, it's I don't think I changed any other slot. I really like my 75. Um, I posted in the Golgari Facebook group that I liked my configuration. I was just fine tuning and fine tuning this mana base. The man land mana base here helps. Um, on that, I really like my sideboard. The only thing I would probably change is add a Golgari charm somewhere, just so I'm not naked to like harden scales. Like I have like sweepers of language and damnation. I mean, maybe I can see a Golgari charm over like a duress, um, but it also leaves me kind of cold to burn. Um, I like having at least three cards to bring in versus burn just to board out the thought seizures and then like you'll fill in the rest with like fulminators and spell bombs um but yeah maybe i might just cut this dress for like a Gugari charm that might be the only change i might make um like if i were to make uh any changes for the next big event that i have but i mean i would be pretty fine running this 75 uh, the next big event that i have is gp portland um I read the last big event that I played was at a 2K my local game store and I got destroyed. Just lost match roulette. I played Tron twice, played Mardu Pyromancer twice, Mill and Blue Eye Control. Um, all pretty terrible matches except for, except for Mill and Mill I actually drew against. I actually beat uh, Tron and Blue Eye Control, uh, but not the greatest. Uh, big event that I played in for sure um usually when I stream I like to play full league but I didn't know I was going to be streaming today and I played a quick match yesterday or the day before I remember um so I like to all I like my streams to have a full league just to see the variety of decks you can play against um so I can just uh replay the first match um kind of talk through the lines so it's you know losing on that much content um, I ended up playing against Storm and having three discard spells is pretty clutch. Here, I took, uh, the opening hand was Grape Shot, Pyretic Ritual, Shivan Reef, Gifts and Given, and Goblin Electromancer. I think the correct line is probably to take the Goblin Electromancer, even though the Collective Brutality. Um, because they're never just going to run out on turn two, and I don't think they're going to run it off until, until they can combo off at least Gifts and Given. My mindset was I took Grape Shot to protect my scavenging moves. Um, and the reason why I say I should have taken the Goblin Electromancer is, you can see here, I took the Collective Brutality, uh, I collected Brutality, oops, and took the Gifts Ungiven, which left my opponent Goblin Electromancer and two Rituals. So it's my, top, my opponent top decked um, uh, a Gifts Ungiven and a land. Uh, he would have been able to combo off. Uh, so I was pretty much left myself naked here. Um, but instead he just drew a ritual, which is lucky for me. Um, and then this is where just scavengers kind of just takes over the game. 
Uh, Liliana was a good draw. But I still kind of want to leave my green source open. Uh, just in case they go off with Passing Flames. And Storm is one of the reasons why I like, I love how Rock has shifted towards three scavenging was made. Um, it just covers so many decks right now, like Storm, KCI, all the Arc Light Convenience uh, decks, Dredge. Um, here I kind of have a risky keep, uh, just a one lander, but I have a lot of hate that can kind of slow my opponent down, so hopefully I draw. Uh, a green source which I topped. Um, so my opponent had multiple empty the wards. <clears throat> Man of and Pride of Grish will just so super greedy keep. Um, he he could go off turn two. If he top decks a land, he can go uh, land ritual Man of empty the wards, which is a pretty good keep I must say. Um, but I, I dressed the braid because hitting one of the rituals isn't gonna really gonna stop him from comboing. Oh, I guess I could have taken the predator control, but I wanted to protect my spell bomb and my scavenging ooze. Because um, I had an answer to a pulse, so I kind of want him to empty up both rituals here, which he does. So he's left with one unknown and two empties. Um, this game ends up being pretty cool. Uh, ends up being a pretty big grind fest here. So the opponent still has one and no two empties. Golgari Trump is pretty decent for Storm too. Another reason why I like it, especially when they had like the, well, it's a couple months ago they had like the Pyromancer Ascension out of the sideboard. Uh, so Golgari Trump was really good against that version as well because it just hit everything. Uh, my opponent just about uh. Just killing my guard, not confident with grape shot, which is good for us. I play the target life for the damaging news because I have two forms of yard hate and I want the bigger clock. This game ends up pretty cool because my opponent just has two uh, empty the warrens and I have to grind through all of them. Um, this is like one of those cases where surgical would have been really good, and I think that would have just been game over. Um, how's it going in Inferno? I am not on Avdan Traverse anymore. And if you want me to go on a huge rant about why I am not, I can. <laughs> uh, I just don't think that deck is good anymore. Um, I take the back. I think it's viable. I just don't think it's... I don't know. I just don't think it's... I think Rock is better positioned in the meta. And I also just like, I feel like Avgen Traverse is not my, like my playstyle is definitely suited towards like the centralized list of Avgen. And centralized is pretty similar to Rock. And if anything, I like Rock more because of the smooth mana base. And I just like Rock more than Avgen, which says a lot because I've been on Avgen since forever. So my opponent pretty much emptied again. Um, here I cast Cletus because I know my opponent has another empty in hand, so I kind of, uh, I can, I can pretty much race my opponent with Cletus because it has lifelink. Uh, my opponent attacking here, it doesn't make sense to me, uh, but he just commits more empty the war into the board and he just, it just walks into my damnation here. Another reason I just love Cletus, the lifelink is so is so relevant because they empty the warrens, and it's just it's just so good. Like Cletus just just it takes a lot of empty tokens just to overcome it. Um, and that was the match, just beat Storm. Um, so yeah, just gonna continue on. How's it going, everyone? Though, hope you guys had a good uh, Thanksgiving. You guys. Stayed safe, stayed dry. It's storming here up in California. I'm sure there's snow and everywhere else too. This hand's a good keep. Um, got all my colors. Removal spawns of Tormogoyf. Uh oh. Smell ad nauseum here. Oh man, just drawing blanks against this deck. 
<sighs> it could keep over. It could be like, yeah, definitely ad nauseum. Sorry, I I I keep trying to remember to um, make that uh, the deck list thing. Sorry, I'll, I'll I'll try to remember to do it next time, Scorpion Green. Uh, I can pull up the deck list uh, in between this match. Uh, so I'm gonna actually play Dark Confidant here over Tarmogoyf because I need to draw the discard spells more than the clock. Why do you think it's not good in the meta? Uh, I Lingering Souls just isn't good anymore. Um, against like a couple years ago, Blue Eye against like Blue Eye Control, like literally you just slam one half of a Lingering Souls and that just is game over. Uh, in contrast, now they have Planeswalkers, and uh, it, it just Lingering Souls just isn't enough impact, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, in contrast, uh, Tireless Tracker is really good against those kind of decks, getting those immediate value. Um, does Ad Nausea play Basic Swamp? So here, they, if they just hard cast Ad Nauseam, they can. I can trophy this. So I think I'm just gonna. Oops. Oh crap. Uh, what did I click? Oh, okay. Jesus. Uh, what did I reveal? Trash. Okay, that's good. Uh, I can hold up a assassin's trophy. So I'm gonna attack with Bob. I just hope they um, just add nauseam into this friction life because I have uh, this Assassin's Trophy. I really need to draw a discard spell here though. <clears throat> uh, I beat Storm, but that was off camera. So I, I think Grim Flare is also just not powerful enough which sucks because i love grim flare i think grim flare is a really cool card but it just isn't good right now which sucks <laughs> like I, I i the deck is super fun you know what i mean oh man they bottom so i guess they're just digging for ad nauseum they have the mana here so I think I'm going to trophy the Unlife just because it also grows Goyf and ramping them doesn't do anything in this right now. Like it, it does nothing because they have all the mana right now. The only thing I can do is uh... come on, discard spell, discard spell, dot cease. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, I think it's safe to thought seize here. Because they could also just play conservatively. And they couldn't have just we played the second on life first and then cast out the nauseum. So I just if I can thought seize now, I can just try to dodge. Uh, uh, an odd nauseum off the top. And just hope I can draw into an abrupt decay with Bob. Uh, I reveal the Thoughtseize so they know about it. So I think I can play Tireless Shacker and then play Thoughtseize. Uh, 6, 12. Yeah, I think I like that line. Because Goyf isn't going to shorten the clock. Uh, I have to play Regional Feeding and I won the Peeps I don't know what to play other Regional Feeding last. I, I mean... I still think it's a viable deck. I just don't think it's. I don't know. It's. I'm one of those guys that thinks that you should play whatever is. Uh, play what you know in modern. And if you won a, a regional PTQ with Abner Traverse, I would stay on it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't know. That's just me. Please say that nauseum. Ooh. Thank goodness. <clears throat> oh, they also have the Lotus Flume, so more reason to just trophy them. It's not like it does anything. 
Um, yeah, I mean, if you, honestly, if you want a reasonable PC with it, just fuck it, just, I would play it. I wouldn't, I would not play it, because you always have success with it. So, oh my gosh, I can't read. Uh, please don't add nausea to me. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I mean, I would, I would just stick with it. To be honest, I think it comes down to just personal preference too. What is there anything spicy in here? Not really. Same old stuff. What did you play against, if you remember, at the PPTQ? Spoils Exiles, right? Ah, I, I technically do have a shot. My opponent doesn't have enough lands. Or exiled all the Lightning Storms. He, exi he exiled one. <clears throat> or exiled all the Simian Spirit Guides. Oh no, he has a Lotus Bloom. So. <laughs> oh, ad nauseum. I haven't played against Ad Nauseum in a while. Um, luckily, I have a lot of cyborg cards versus it. Like, I have the extra discard spell, damage sphere, makes them require a lot of mana. Fulminary Mages are actually pretty good because they're a mana intensive deck. Uh, extra discard spell. Um, and I can see Nessa coming in just, just to have a faster clock. Last Hope's bad. Cut all the fatal pushes. <clears throat> um. And then I maybe I can see cutting two scavenging ooze since they don't do much here. I like keeping decay to hit like their pentap prisons and their Phyrexian on lives. Um, like I can also see Cleaves getting cut. Um, I mean I can see a scavenging ooze over a Cleaves just so it's a two drop. But. I can see a scavenging is over Cletus, even though it's just a 2 2 bear. Just to get the beats on. Because Cletus doesn't do anything, the life gain isn't that relevant. Um, let's just do that. <clears throat> that combo actually sounds bad, though. Nightmare Lash on Vampire Night. <laughs> GG! Uh, sure. Another reason, this is the exact reason why I like Scavenging Goes Over Cletus, because I can drop this on turn two and kind of start beating face. Have you changed Vask in the side? She seems like she could generate a lot of value in Granite matches or find messages better. If I wanted value, I would rather have, um, Obnixilis in the sideboard. The five mana one, I think, plus it, you do like the Frexian Arena. Um, and then minus you destroy a creature. Frexion on life, Frexion on life, two revisions. I think I just take the serum visions here. Taking an on life doesn't do anything. Taking a spirit guy doesn't do anything. It's like taking a land, I guess, but I think I'd rather just take the serum visions. I, a lot of people like bringing Surgical in this matchup. I don't. Because they have frick, um, whatchamacallit, the ley line of Sanctity. So, I'm just going to yield to that. Um. 
get the clock on. And then I can play Damping Sphere. Oh, Lotus Bloom. Now they got the mana. Scry to the bottom is good for us. Um, at least we have all the lands to play Nissa. That's good. <clears throat> I can actually fuel the ruin the city brass. I don't think Ed Nazan plays basic planes, right? I don't think Ad Nauseam plays basic planes. I could be wrong. I really hope I'm not, though, because I'm very tempted to feel the Ruined City Brass. Right? Like, I don't think Ad Nauseam plays basic planes. They don't have fetches. You can just cut them off uh, for sound life mana here. Please don't have a basic planes. Oh, they do. I guess they do. They should after. Uh, gosh darn it. I guess they should, huh? No, I guess it doesn't matter. The Seacom Ghost. Okay. Darn. That's punishing, because I could have played Damping Spear and Tarmogoyf. Four, eleven. I'm trying to see if I should play Goif Damping Spear or Goif Land. I think I'm gonna play Goif Spear. And I hope I don't and I hope to just draw fifth land naturally. The clock is really slow here. My PGK was in July. I remember playing against Blade Control Burn. In fact, we are controlling to the Human Storm Case guy. Uh, yeah, Blue Eye Control is actually pretty brutal with Traverse. Like, I think that's probably the worst matchup for that deck. Clock is pretty slow, which sucks. With the unlife, so I know two or three cards. I like the Cletus main. I don't know. I I I think a lot of people don't. A lot of people have a sideboard card, but. Having a main has been pretty good, especially with Bob's main and <clears throat> So technically my opponent can't kill me still, even with the Oh. Okay. Okay, they didn't exile anything relevant. So they still have Frexian Life and Simeon Spirit Guide. So if they're not bad, uh, actually they can't win, right? They're at minus five. Because to play ad nauseum, it costs 
six mana because of the damping sphere. I guess they could exile seeming spirit guide, but then they have to have another one, two, three, four, five, six. I smell an angel's grace. Huh. Oh, is lightning storm instant? But he doesn't have... Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, Lightning Storm is an instant. I always thought, I forgot Lightning Storm is an instant. I thought it was a sorcery. So, yeah, so he goes one and then. That's game. That sucks. So then, then it's, it didn't slow them down enough. The Lotus Bloom is just really, I miss kind of, I, really, I miss Stony Silence on Absent with this matchup. Because it slows them down a lot. And plus thing with the Lotus on the other turn wouldn't have done anything, I guess. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Does he have exaxes? Oh, I don't know when. Um, uh, how do I yield? I don't want to click through my turn. Just in case. I, I'm too lazy to count. <laughs> in the main or in the side? Or in like the 75? Darn. Oh well. Uh, the expect model. Uh, to be honest, I don't like a second seventy-five, a uh, second last hope in the seventy-five. I I feel like having her in multiples isn't that great. Um, and I feel like she doesn't do as much as I would like a planeswalker to, would do. Like she takes over games, sure. If you're in, if with the proper board state, but having multiples kind of just, I don't know. I don't. I I. I like her a lot, but I also think she's a little overrated in terms of how many people uh, have her running, which is like a lot of people do two main. And I think that's a huge meta call as well. Jesus. On the draw? Sure. Gonna bomb that. I don't know. That's just my opinion, though. I, I would never have a second last hope. I was like, unless your meta is full of just like X1 decks but like even then that's kind of rough i don't know like even against like control matchups and stuff like like it doesn't you're pressuring them to deal with it but they're not you're not pressuring the board with last hope is what i'm trying to say <laughs> that's a good way to 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 to, to put it <laughs> Like people really like Last Hope and like mid range mirrors, which makes sense. Uh, Megan Smardu. Oh gosh, please give me a green source off the top. Um, against the uh, Hollow One, got it. Well, just gonna take the Goblin Lore and just pass the turn. Have to draw a green source. 
This is actually my first time playing as Hollow on, on this deck. I really need a green source here. Oh my gosh, this is not a good day today, is it? I mean, it's kind of great to keep, but... I kind of wish my opponent did cast Skull more at this point. They scar Lightning Bolt because he has one unknown. Oh gosh. I'm getting crushed. Yep. That sucks. <clears throat> uh, Graph Digger's Cage for Arc Lake Phoenix, or Arc Lake Phoenix, um, uh, whatever the other Phoenix is. Uh, I like the Yard Hate for Taskers and Recurring Faith of Suitings. Uh, Surgicals are okay. Kitchen Finks is okay. I'm gonna bring in. I like Danny from Not Languish because Languish doesn't kill a Tasker or uh, Grimag Angler. I'm gonna cut the decays, cut the brutalities, and then cut a last hope. I don't think I like any of the whales either. I mean, maybe I like my last hope just to. It doesn't even kill um, the one mana menace when you describe a spell with. Pumps. I want to tr trim Fatal Push too. Maybe I can keep in like a Brutality. And then like a Last Hope. And like cut a push. Something like that. I don't, this isn't a good matchup for us either. I don't think, uh, I think we're heavily unfavored against Hollow One. Sure. I'll gladly keep this hand. I, I think a lot of people just don't like sweepers because it's uh, net neutral in terms of card advantage, so they don't like it, which makes sense. Um, I just like having an emergency valve. Gosh, discard all my lands. Play Big Goyf. I can see play Bob over uh, Goyf here, but... Uh, is he going to play Tasker? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I can see Exy popping my spell bomb now just to hit, uh, keep him off of Tasker. So I think I'm going to do that. And Angler, too. Sure. Him pausing makes me think that he does have task or angler in hand. No. Jeez. Huh. We discarded the Tasker. That's any, uh.
Yeah. You got it. Um, I'm gonna fetch here, just in case I can draw like a scavenging ooze. Oh gosh, my mouse. Sure, I think I'm just going to trophy and then play the second confidant. It's trophy, attack, play second confidant. Reel the bob. Greatness at any cost. Secret mode on Bob is so you can actually attack too. It's cool. Got it. Not a bad set of cards. Um, nine. Seven. I'm trying to figure out if I can take two blood gas hits and kill on the crackback, or I can just send one confidant in and still be able to kill on the crackback. Nine, three. I think I need to send both confidants in and then just hope to not die to my own blobs. I reveal Assassin's Trophy and Thought Seize. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for the win here. Or if he wants to trade Bob for a, a flame bit up, that's fine too. I'll offer up that trade. Huh. I'm down to fatal push this blood gas. I just smelt double lightning bolt here. I don't think I can offer up that trade. Oh. My bolt. Oh God! Please be your zero. You must have lightning bolt, right? Geez, that damnation really screwed me over. So just trophy adept, and then just hope he doesn't bolt me. Yep, six, it seems like.
Yeah, okay. <laughs> that damnation hurt. <laughs> Jesus. Instant Noodle Boy, thanks for following, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, I don't think I change anything. Gosh, I really don't like Veil in this matchup either. I can see bringing in Last Hope. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I can do anything else than that. This hand's super reliant on them having a uh, not that card. Okay, I'm actually gonna Thoughtseize over Inquisition. Usually you want to Inquisition first, but I want to make sure I can nab like a payoff card. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, I can see taking Grim Lava and Lancer here. I can see going Groom Lava Mancer and then going double discard spell taking Bolt and Gromog Angler. Yeah, I think I just take the Goblin Grim Lava Mancer. Because that's the most uh, relevant card they can have. Uh, C K I R T A P. I don't know how to say your name, buddy, but thanks for uh, following me. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. Oh man, lucky. So they discarded uh, Phoenix Bolt Meyer. So, okay. I really need a fatal push off the top here. Oh gosh, no. Oh man. So that Phoenix is coming back. Like I'm just gonna attack that too many angles here. Because they have a, I really wish they could discard that Gromag Angler. I can just kill the Hollow one. And I don't have to worry about another threat, but like, it's like I have to worry about this Adept, and then they still have the Goblin Lore in hand, and then I'm gonna have to kill their Hollow one, but they can just Gromag Angler and then Phoenix it back. Uh, don't know how I'm getting out of this game. Because if I thought sees take the angler away, I'm just going to get hit for f four, six, seven at the minimum. So I don't think I can thought sees. Then I'm going to play the trophy and then pass. Or play the forest and hope the trophy hollow one. Because he can't angler and phoenix, so I guess now he can. He's just got it all, huh? So this lets me take the least amount of damage. I think I still need a trophy this.
I know about the Gurmag Angler, which you can't cast. I know about the Goblin Lore. So I think I'm going to play Inquisition, take the Goblin Lore. And then hope to talk deck Damnation. Do I need to draw Damnation here? Or I am dead. And even then, he still has a Gromag Angler to finish it off, which I can guess I can theoretically thought sees. Come on, Dan Nation, one last time. Just one time. So here I can thought seize and play Dark Confidant. And then rip up Damnation again off the top. Uh, this is also assuming my opponent doesn't rip a Faithless Looting or anything like that. So I'm dead to a lot of draws, but I just needed to hope my opponent just whiffs on a bunch of things. I'm so behind anyway. Um, yeah, I think I thought sees here. A bolt kills me anyway. I just need to... I just need a hope. I need a lot of things to go my way here. I think my opponent cracking a fetch is not a good idea with blood gas in this deck. Um, hmm. Okay. Land damnation. Oh, uh, that's fitting. Okay, that's fun. Not a good start, boys. Not a good start. Uh, how was the lighting on this guy? 13 viewers, guys. Thanks for tuning in. It's a chilly day up in California, so got my little beanie. Actually, gonna move the lighting real quick. I think that gets better when I do that. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Whenever I stream on the weekends, I always do poorly, so <laughs> I'm going to blame that. <laughs> uh, Agonize memory last two times for Cypher FNM. What's your sideboard, John? Let me see how bad your <laughs> sideboard is. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do better than me right now. Starting O2 today is not, not fun. Sure. I would like to. This hands a lot better on the play. Uh, my opponent moving to six is good for us. Am I against the mirror? If it's the mirror, they'll probably take bail. Thought sees. Interesting. Leaving me with Veil. I think I played the Gleaming Marsh. Inquisition. J -j -j -jund. J -j -j -jund. I'll take your Veil though, thanks. That was a good draw. Because I can just fatal, I can just brutality to fatal push. Sure.
How do you like Deathmark? Uh, yeah. What are you missing? Oh, you want cuts? I was like, damn, you have a lot. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you, you pretty much have no holes. Um, kind of want to feel the ruin this treetop village. I feel like playing scavenging isn't gonna be too much. And they're like they're gonna blood rail off and they can hit a lot of removal spells off the top. They also just uh play Lily up and they just have to hit the fourth land. I like that line better actually. Yeah, so I might do that. I think I like that line better. I mean, they have 25 lands, which is a lot. But, so they have a pretty good chance at it. I honestly think they should have taken Lily on the veil. I guess they have T-Top to deal with it, but we have Field of Run to deal with their T-Top, so I don't know. It's close. I would cut the Friction Arena. You're missing a Nyssa. Um, one, two... One, two, three, four, five. So you have five act pieces yard here, which I like. I mean, I can see. Oh, wow. He's really banking on his blood right off. Yep, yeah, you, you need no fear, dude. You're too scared. Wow. Rip. Now I just need to hope my opponent doesn't hit anything relevant. Because I still I still have a planeswalker on the board, that's a thing. Oh my god, are you serious? Jeez. Oh my gosh. Sure, I think my opponent might minus. He's probably going to minus, so I think I'm gonna hang out of the bob. And this Liliana is pretty much dead, so. Gosh darn it. Oh man. Yep. I don't think I have a way out of this. This is too much value. Oh, man. That's tilting. I'm not out of it. I just need my opponent to whiff a lot. And I have Field of Ruin, so I can, if I draw, like, Decay, I'm okay. Maybe I should have discarded Scavenging Ooze instead of the Treetop Village earlier. <coughs> hmm. 
Okay, that's an answer to Liliana. I'm not dead. You see my opponent to whiff a lot, which is doable. My opponent drawing discard spells is doable. I agree, it's still the right line, it's just tilting when it doesn't work out, even though you know it's the correct line. It, I, 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 it's, it's, it's just, how, it just, it is what it is. Like, we're not, we're definitely not out of this game now. Those are very fortunate draws for us. I'm gonna just play the tracker here. Or I can wait? I should probably wait, my opponent played three Inquisitions already. I might just hold up Field of Ruin and then hope for a land off the top. Sure. Definitely not out of this one. Oh no. Last hope. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. 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 I'll take that. It's turning into a, quite the top deck war here. Opponent has basic mountain? Jesus. Alright, land at the top. Land off the top. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we are back in this game, boys. Okay. Not a removal spell. I'll take it. Oh, baby, yes. God, I love Pilot Tracker. Come on, Fatal Push. Come on, Fatal Push. Sure. Fatal Push, Liliana. I went through two veils already. Went through two trophies and a brutality. Fatal push. Oh, baby. I love you, deck. Thank you so much. question is do I crack the clue for the extra point of damage so 13 I don't think I do I don't think my clock changes and I don't want my opponent to top deck a discard spell or a Liliana although if he top deck a Liliana he would just minus but oh jeez. So now I just need threats now? That's a threat. That's quite the threat. So here, if my opponent plays a threat, I can fatal push it. And they'll plus. Perfect. Perfect! Perfecto. Just like we drew it up, baby. Are you serious? <laughs> you got it, John. I believe in you, buddy.
Thanks for tuning in again, John. Ooh. Big boy goif, huh? Get as many green shorts as I can. Hope to have lands at the top. Oh god. Hmm. I think I'm going to send one of my bobs in. And then just kill my own Bob with Liliana. Back pretty well in this game. Bring back scavengers. Sure. I think I have to let this go. Maybe kill my own Bob was a little too egregious there. Because I guess I could have. Hmm. I need removal spells, buddy. I don't see any other creatures. There's surprisingly a lot of a lot of planeswalkers in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a lot of lands. I'm trying to figure out what I can start exiling to shrink the goif if possible. But I think there's a lot of everything. So I think walkers might be just be the easiest one to start exiling. Maybe maybe killing their own my own conf dark confidant was too greedy. I don't know. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could try to gang block here.
I was thinking long and hard about this block. <laughs> Does it matter? Wow, he's gonna let me keep Kalidas. Wow. Uh, we're gonna have a squ uh, off here. We're gonna have a scoos off. I have more green sources than you, buddy. Unless he has a K command. F6 here. I think it's a safe attack. Just attack with Kalidus. Because if you had a removal spell, I think you would have just killed Kalidus so I don't get the zombie. Wow, does he not know? <laughs> My opponent is so bad. <laughs> and keep the brutality in case my opponent draws like a like a a, a, a dark confidant or something. That game was insane. <laughs> that game was just insane. Um, here you just board out, you, th you technically should board out all your discard spells. Uh, on the draw, I keep the thought seizes, and on the play, I board them out for like full main or mage. Okay, maybe I'll just keep two in, board out one full main or mage. Ideally, you'd want to... Board out all six discard spells, but I could also see, just see cutting brutality here. Brutality just doesn't have that much oomph. I like could give the deck reach, but the only thing it kills is like Dark Confidant and like a Scavenging Ooze that's early or a Blood Braid Elf. Other than that. Yeah, I might just. Cut the brutality for like a fulminator and a thought seize. Maybe maybe keep one brutality on the draw. Something like that. Let's go with that. Man. Better. Sure. Thought season to Bob is not a bad, not a bad start. Hazard's really annoying. 
It sells Last Hope. I think I'm going to take the Last Hope here. I have Push for Dark Confidant. My opponent can't even cast Tarmogoyf right now. I want to take the Hazard, but not going to happen. Sure. That was a good draw. Hmm. Let's see what he has. Lightning Bolt Assassin's Trophy. I think I'm gonna take the Hazard right here. And then take the Lightning Bolt with Collect Brutality. And then make my opponent have a green source for trophy and goif for my dark confidant. So he's gonna trophy my Bob or play Goyf. Yep. Smart move. So he's Goyf and one unknown in hand. I guess the best play is to just Play the most mana efficient spell in Kalidus. So I have a top deck of Liliana. I need my opponent plays Goy if I can just Liliana minus. Jeez. All is a removal. Uh oh. That's not good for us. Double Bob. Huh. I can't deal with the Bob, so I might as well just go aggro here. Let's get the beats on. land sure that's why I love kitchen finks so good
Treetop's gonna attack Liliana, and the rest of the team's gonna attack opponent. Play scavenging news. Opponent's gonna flip a three, and he's gonna lose the game. Raging Ravine. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Scavenging ooze. Hmm. Uh, I just have lethal. I think. Let's double check the math here. Yep. Yep, that's game. That would have been game. <laughs> Fuck John. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Twenty one viewers guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a good Thanksgiving. Hope everyone had a good time. Didn't get too full. Ignored their holiday diets. They ate a bunch of turkey. I'm actually not a fan of Thanksgiving food, but my girlfriend's family has Chinese food, which is Bomb. They have fried shrimp and noodles and pork and it's fucking the best, dude. Are you gonna play one more league after this game? Probably. Uh, probably gonna play until my girlfriend comes home from her friends. Um, kind of want to nap, but I'd rather play Magic, I guess. Then. <laughs> so I don't. I don't know if it'll be one more game or. Oh, no, league just depends. I think she's come back at 5.30, so maybe one game, at, another game after this. Um, but, yeah. Thanks for tuning in again, guys. It's always fun having people watching while I stream. It's always fun. Hope to cap this league off with a win and break even. Um, losing the ad nauseum kind of sucks, but because I consider that a pretty positive matchup. But yeah, that game versus John, winning game one versus John was huge. That was a pretty big game. Like, I was so behind. My opponent top thing that land for Blood Rail. Like, that was huge for me to come back from that. Tyler Shucker's just so good. So good. And that's the thing about when you play against John and when they have, like, two balls in play, you just, like, and you just have don't have your rule, you just aggro them out, right? Like, they didn't draw any... Uh, they they flip lands off the top, which is pretty lucky for them. But damn, I was uh, we still won that game even though they had two bobs. So, um, but yeah, hope everyone has a good Thanksgiving. Uh, I think the new ban restricted announcements this week. Hopefully, Ancient Stirrings gets banned. <laughs> uh, I think Ancient Stirrings leads to the most broken. Uh, Construction of decks that are bad for us, like KCI, Tron, Hardened Scales Affinity. Uh, Hardened Scales Affinity, I think, is a pretty bad matchup for us. Um, we have all the removal and everything, but if they slam, like, a Hanger Back Walker, we're kind of screwed. Um, but, like, Golgari Charm and, like, Night of Souls Appear should help in that matchup. I don't run any of those, so I'm kind of hoping to dodge Hardened Scales Affinity. Um...
Man, it took a while to get that last match in. Maybe not a lot of people are tuned in. Come on, buddies. Let's play. Oh. Oh, my. Let's do this. Finally on the play. That's a keeper. Discard into two drop. Magical snap. Is my opponent playing Snapcaster Mage? Two, four, fetch land. I don't have a rules for the death shadow. So I kind of want to just take that. They thought sees me. They're my hand is pretty thought sees through. I would rather keep the bob, but I think taking their threat when I don't have an answer to it is the best play here. So we're just going to double street wraith and knock on top of the deck and hope my opponent my opponent only plays 19 lands right in death shadow so hopefully they whiff which they did not of course they did not whiff probably thought sees here so that was a good take for me to take their death shadow since i am pretty removal light Taking, just playing scavenging goose isn't bad here either. Although it kind of shuts off. They can just thought scour. I think I just want to play the biggest threat here. <coughs> Hopefully my opponent being bottleneck on mana is a thing. Damn. Yep. It's gonna be like an angler. Oh man, my opponent just got it all, huh? Just had it all. I would like an assassin's trophy off the top, please. Tyler Shacker, not the best of draws right now. Gotta watch out for Tiber Battle Rage here. Every time I play those decks, I have like Street Wraith or like Mister's Bobble. You have a bunch of redraws. I never get to, I never get lucky on those. Sucks. He's gonna battle rage me. Okay. This is an interesting line that my opponent is taking. Hmm. 
think I can trade my scavenging ooze for the snap for me to resolve this Liliana. I think that's a fair trade. Because I need to get rid of this Grimmag Angler because of the team of battle rage in my opponent's hand. That was a really interesting line. I guess he wanted to play the snap before I got to untap with scavenging ooze. That makes sense. I think I'm actually gonna not do that then. Play Tireless Tracker. I forgot a creatures in the yard that he doesn't want to block. I think it was just gonna trade. Thought Scar Battle Rage. I think I'm just gonna let this happen. It's not lethal. Tyler's tracker. It's good for us. There's one unknown. Now two unknowns. I don't want to trade here. Do I want to trade? My opponent doesn't know about the Liliana. Oh, man. I think I do. So I can set up my Liliana here. I don't understand the lingering soul spell. <laughs> Everyone I, at my local game store said the exact same thing, which is hilarious. Maelstrom Pulse off the top, one time. Darn. Well, just gonna lily him. So I'm still safe, quote unquote, to the battle rage. I think I just trophy the angler here. See if he stubs. Cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. These matches against Death Shadow are always so close. It's such a nail biter. <coughs> um, I like spell bombs because they exile snaps and take away delve and tempo them out. I like damnation. Kitchen Finks is pretty good. Nest off the top is great. Uh, I like shaving the Inquisitions because they don't hit the Delve threats, which is the hardest for us to deal with. Um, and then maybe shave of brutality and shave of push. I can see seeing both brutalities get shaved or cut. Hmm. You can also see foam layers coming in. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a one-one. Uh, I think on the draw, actually, I'm gonna cut both. They're just gonna sacrifice a whole bunch of pushes and decays in hand. They just have a bunch of anglers and passivers. I think this is fine. Let's do this. Sure. Got discarded into Bob again. Mulliganing versus a Thoughtsy stack is always good for us, especially when you bought them. See our visions. See our visions. We have a lot of t top end cards. Hopefully, the next couple draw steps or lands. Top top is scary. Gonna go fifteen. Do my best impression of. Death Shadow. Wow. Well, I guess I'm just going to take the threat. I don't have anything that officially, efficiently deals with the angler. But he also doesn't have anything that efficiently takes care of my mob. He top topped. I think they're. At the end of the day, Death Shadow is a pretty. Threat light deck. So taking a Grumrag Angler when I can is, I feel like, a lot more ideal. Going big, but you're not playing a place of trophies. The deck is loaded around here, right? More reason to play trophy. No. Uh, I feel like trophy is counterintuitive of being lower to the ground because if you're lower to the ground and you wrap your opponent, it only screws yourself over. Um, because you're you're trying to go under them and you can't because you. Um, you just ramp them up, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna play the Tarmogoyf and then bait the push. I just don't think four, uh, four trophies is a good number. That's my honest opinion. Uh, wow, he kept, he scribed to the top and then milled the second card. Which is a call against command? Okay. Got it. So no two of the three cards. <clears throat> and this is the reason why I didn't I left the angler is because I can't deal with it. Like he would be he's slamming an angler right now and I would be pretty screwed. Snapcaster. Sure. Oh, he fetched you for a million. Got it. Thanks for the look out, buddy. Top, top. Land? Thank you. Just hope he doesn't have a removal spell.
Too good to be true. Awkward. Sure. Just play the Cletus, I guess. Don't see why not. That was a good draw. Is that one just Death Shadows in hand? He's just not playing anything. Which is like not what Death Shadow does. <laughs> Get my zombie. God, I love Cletus, dude. Cletus is so good. Probably has a fatal push. It's okay. Probably wanted to take that hit. Pretty convinced he has like an infinite death shadows in hand. Pull against command. Okay. He got it. He got it. He's got Angler and, and so I know one of the four cards, one of them is Angler. I think I'm gonna Fatal Push the Snapcaster Mage here. the zombie value and I think I can do it anyway just to protect my Liliana and I can always just buy it back with Liliana so it works out I think this is quite the game Yep, so I know, I don't know two the rest. Huh, okay. Do you wanna, I can't play around Stubborn now, right? I might as well just Damnation now. Gosh darn it, you stub me.
one point short of lethal, which sucks. Oh, now I have lethal. I have lethal. Dismember. So I need a fatal push. Oh, that's game. Jesus Christ. Oh man, he just like ripped perfect all those Scott thought scars. Man, that sucks. That sucks. I really wonder what the next card was. Gosh, he like literally ripped perfect there. That sucks. Nice to finally catch the stream live. I'm using anybody because I live in Deck Park. What's the record so far? I'm currently 2 2. Last match is against Death Shadow. You're actually catching the last game now. Oh man, that's brutal. God, I hate when the thoughts go into perfect, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess I shouldn't have Fatal Push the Snap. Like, I don't think that zombie's worth it. Hmm. Oh, man. Brutal. That was brutal. <laughs> hey, better late than never, buddy. Better late than never. He looked at himself. She probably has like fetch land, shock land. <laughs> so that kind of indicates that he has a removal light hand. If he takes more Tarmogoyf. That was a good draw. I think I'm going to hold up the K. How many lands am I playing? I'm playing 24. So my opponent doesn't know about the Luliana, which is good. <laughs> no, I am not. Uh, I, I don't want to post, like, if I'm post if I'm streaming Rock in an Absent group. I think that doesn't make sense. I think that's kinda, actually kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm actually just not on Absent anymore, straight up. Which is really sad for me to say. Because, like, I was on that deck for forever. Um, and to be honest, like, I really like Rock a lot. Like, the playstyle of this deck is just really good. It, like, it fits my playstyle. Um... Sure. One, two, three, four, five. 
Where am I? Angler at. Or Tasker. One of those two. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for following, buddy. Appreciate the follow. I think it's worth trying. Um, do you like uh, the centralized list of version of Abzan? Because if you do, I think Rock is just the better version of that deck, straight up. But if you like Traverse, Traverse is kind of a different play style, so. Are you are you on the centralized version or a Bob's in or a Traverse? Which version are you on? I mean, I can. I just feel bad because it's not really related, I guess. So let me take my Nissa. I could have cracked spell on there, but I guess I should have. I'm just click clicking through. Ooh, decay. on upkeep I think I'm gonna crack the field to run take him off red why didn't I crack spell ball I'm so stupid I think I hold the land. Can't really protect the Liliana. Why didn't I crack spell on there? I'm so dumb. Like distracted. Cause now he, if he has stubborn denial, I'm screwed. Like this, like why else would he leave the Nissa? I'm gonna crack this spell bomb now.
He has to have stubborn denial. Play Kalidus. Oh gosh, why didn't I crack the spell bomb? I'm so dumb. Sure. Oh, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get to this number now. Be a snapcaster. Me not pop popping that spell on really fucked me over. He's using a Liliana here. Jeez. That's actually not that bad. That particular Liliana. He has stubborn denial. He has to. Why else would he keep the Nissa? It's fine. Maybe I should have waited. <clears throat> That kind of implies he has no action. Wow. Did not get punished for that. Jesus Christ. Uh, I, sorry, I was totally focusing on that game ever since I punted that spell bomb play. Um, 
Play your abs in. Not really for Traverse. That's awesome, but I think it's just something. I think it's still a good deck. I just don't think it's... I don't know. I, I think it's... I, I, I guess there's a difference between viable and a, a good deck, and I think it's viable, but I don't think it's... I still think it's a good deck. I don't know. I just don't like it right now. I, I, my win rate with uh, Absin, Traverse, pretty much plummeted once Trophy got printed. And I think the meta shifted to where trying to go low to the ground with it isn't the most ideal uh, way you want to play mid-range. I feel like going under these decks in Modern is not a feasible strategy anymore. Um, give me one sec. Oh, that was a close game. Me not holding up to K really screwed me over, but... <coughs> didn't get punished. Did not get punished. That being said, I think Traverse is still worth trying. If you haven't played it yet. Twenty two viewers, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a good Thanksgiving. Enjoying some rock and modern. Gonna start a new league here. It's a pretty good hand. I would like to be on the play for once. That'd be great. Oh, that's a pretty solid draw. Scalding Tarn could be a lot of things. Hmm. I can take the Jace here. This card that brings him back. Just guy control. Just Guy Control is one of those decks where if you're on Traverse Abzan, you are so heavily unfavored, it's ridiculous. I guess I could have seen taking Lightning Bolt, and I have answers to Jace and Click with Trophy and Liliana, but... Flooding kind of hard here. Ooh... I don't wanna play this little in plus. Going bolt. Target himself. Target me. Probably take the veil. I guess it wouldn't make sense to take the veil since I already have one in play. Guess I can discard a veil here. I have a feeling he has like a Teferi. 
in which case I'm just gonna not attack the treetop yet. Hmm. 20 viewers guys, thanks for tuning in again as always. So close to my 200 follower cap and a buck 89 right now. Appreciate everyone for contributing to that number. Really appreciate it. If you guys like what you see, please follow my Twitch stream. And if you guys want up to date on when I'm actually streaming, you guys can follow me on Twitter. It'll be a little bit more of an accurate um, sign of when exactly I am streaming. Top top. Did he play this flooded strain? I don't remember. Having two colonnades kind of ruins my one field of ruin plan. No, I guess he played the flood strand. That's my fault. Yep. I have draws here. I guess that the Millstone Pulse these Snapcaster Mages. How's it going, St. Dude? How's it going, buddy? Uh, I finished one league already, 3 2. So this is actually the start of the next league. Tempted to just thought seize here and then pulse the snaps. Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna seven. That's brutal. He topped with Serum Visions. Maybe I should have filled the round. I'm gonna hold off on this Inquisition. Wait till I draw a threat so I can pave the way for it. I'm gonna hold on to this land too, just in case I draw Tyler's Tracker. Tyler's Tracker would be a really good card here to draw, so I can go Inquisition, play Tyler's Tracker, and play the land. Uh, I think Scavenging Ooze is worth protecting. Let's just play this Inquisition here. Actually gonna not play it. I think I'm actually gonna actually play the land here. Just in case he goes for lethal.
Snapcaster or Lightning Bolt wins the game off the top. It's going to be a long road to win this game. To dodge a lot of draw steps here. Bye. Oh, man. I guess I'm not dead if I go like this. I'm not dead. Certainly not winning the game. Oh, man. Okay. Exile Scat for Snack Astro Mage again. I guess that doesn't work. I had no outs. Maybe maybe I was punished for not playing the Blooming Marsh. Jeez. That was a good draw. Um, don't think I have enough mana though. I'm just gonna concede here. I'm just gonna concede. I I could have played like played back and just field ruined it. Like I could have just not done anything. But not doing anything doesn't win the game. I'm just gonna concede. Save some time. Um just gonna bore in all these bad boys. Discard spells, spell bombs, cut the fatal pushes. Um I guess cut the decays. I guess you cutting brutalities because you wanna hit the walkers actually. Oops, do not want to cut the Necrop Bond. I can actually just go like this. Keep one Brutality. We go like that. Like, Decay is pretty good against, like, Blue Eye Control, because they have, like, Detention Spear and, um... Uh, Searcher Ascanta, but... This guy doesn't have much of that. So let's try this. Dungeon Year 2, thanks for the follow, man. Really appreciate it. Jesus. Oh, that's better. Put the palm near the bottom. Discard in a Dark Confidant's a good start. Wow. No red.
red source. I think I'm gonna take the serum regions here. They kept seven, right? Yeah. Damn it. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, why? Also, just fulminate the red source here. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Remand. Forgot they had that. I think here I just play scavenging goose. Or I could play fulminator mage. Keep them off mana. Just do that. Do the stone rain plan. I could have done white mana, but I know they have anger of the gods. Puts Inger on the bottom library. Interesting. So one terminus is the known card. I think I'm gonna run the bob out there. Force him to removal spell. Darn. He had it. They always have it. That's a good draw there. Try to get the value when I can.
We're pretty behind here. But we're not that bad. So... I'm going to X out the lightning bolt. I guess I should have cracked the clue first. Gosh, I'm so dumb. I crack, should have cracked this clue first. I'm just playing too fast. You crack the clue first and still leave green mana open so you can play scavenging. So you can exit out scavenging ooze. I'm just going to tap here. That was just dumb on my part. It has four cards and it hasn't played anything. It's weird. I'm gonna exile the remand. I get rid of all the removal spells. What moves is he doing? That's, that's what's kind of annoying. Uh, turn to a creature. So I'm assuming he's drawing a card. But it's kind of annoying how the Texas version of the card doesn't show. <laughs> Sees here. That's a good top deck. Uh, take the one redundant spell out. Take the fairy. And the Scoos can outgrow the Helix, so it's good. I'm gonna tap though. Turn boys a good draw. Oh, I'm playing into a Terminus. I forgot they had it. Gosh darn it. Oh, gosh darn it. I'm so dumb. Forgot he had Terminus. I'm so bad at this stupid game. Oh, why? Gonna just exile all the instants and sorceries. Gosh darn it. That's lucky. I guess make him burn both removal spells. Gosh, I'm not, uh, not, not, not playing good. <laughs> I mean, two from my opponent isn't the worst.
snap custom age. Still with the bolt in hand. No instant in the yard. Guess I should hold this. Guess I should Inquisition now. In right click the cryptic to see the modes. That'd be good to know. Thanks, Michael. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And creature sorcery incident. Darn, darn, darn. Well, my opponent's hellbent, which is good for us. Because we still have two cards in hand that are more reactive when we need to be aggro here. That was a good draw. I can be aggressive here with this quagmire. I'm gonna play this spell bomb. Crack it, let's Play it again. Aggro. I like it. Hmm. It's fortunate, unfortunate. Kitchen fakes. Drawing way too reactive here. I can see a line of just like trophy, trophy, or trophy pulse and just attack. Let's get aggro here.
Because we have way too reactive of a hand. We have to start trying to end the game here. Yikes. Hopefully that can provide some reach for us. Getting aggressive here. Ooh, out of basics, huh? Boo. Got punished for. Being too aggressive with my removal spells. Kind of just signals that he doesn't have a terminus. Wow. Basic could be in their hand. That's that that's that's a good point. I mean, you probably brainstormed it away, so He didn't shuffle anything away either, so he's not brainstorm luck, but I don't think he has, I think he only has one fresh draw. Hope he doesn't have cryptic. Jace, attack my opponent. Oh no. Target my, please target, don't target me. Please say my opponent's hands fast so he wants to cycle. No. I guess he wants to protect Jace, yeah. Yeah, maybe I should have retaliated before the attack. Obviously, that would have. 
I was hoping to bait him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. So we have exact mana to animate all three of our man lands here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. It's a close game. Okay. Okay, animate both treetops. There's nothing in the yard for Snapcaster, or I guess he has Path. I'm trying to play on cryptic command. I guess I should have played the screws first. I'm gonna say no. That exchange did not favor me at all. Oh, I should just play sca scavenging use first. Oh, I guess that doesn't matter. I guess I wouldn't have attacked. They just be a path, not Snapcaster. Sorry, I mean I need to I need to update my. I need to install that. So another discard spell would be pretty good here. So my treetop's not naked. Oh, so he's just digging. Same song and dance. Just be a bolt or a path. No snapcaster. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, darn it.
My deck has been very kind to me. Gosh, one point so close. Double bolt. Yep, good game. Good game. That was that was brutal. I hate control. <laughs> uh, I think I can still get embarrassed here. Oh, that's just brutal. J this Jace is just so good. And Jace is the reason why, like, the mid-range decks have a bad control matchup now. Uh, this is brutal. This is brutal. I'm gonna mulligan. Since my opponent also mulligan. Uh, sure. Mulligan to five. Uh, I guess I want the third land. Cliff top retreat. What the hell am I playing against? I have a feeling it's a Blood Moon deck. Just watch. I'm gonna play this Red and Catacombs. The only cl deck I know that plays Cliff top retreat is like that stupid like free win red deck. What the fuck? Okay. Interesting. I think we're getting like you pay two. Interesting. Gonna just trophy this. Interesting. I don't think he's playing Blood Moon anymore because of the Field of Ruin, but who the fuck knows. There's just one Blue Moon deck that I played against that had Field of Ruins and Blood Moon. It was so weird. Take it easy, buddy. Have a good night. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. He's got to, yeah. I get my value right now. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna fetch an overgrown tube tap just to get my value, and I don't think my opponent's on Blood Moon, so. Seeming spirit guide. 
Kind of makes me think he's on Blood Moon again. Then I don't think he has a removal spell. I think he would have killed Tracker if he. Yeah, it looks like it. Man, should have cracked the first. That sucks. I'm gonna see if I can deal with this Nihiri without wasting my Assassin's Trophy. Thanks, buddy. Take it easy, dude. Man. Gonna crack this clue first. Just gonna assassin trophy this now. Hopefully my opponent is, is out of gas. Like how I am, this fatal push is pretty garbage, I think. <laughs> nice. Get to know that my opponent's out of gas, too. That was a good draw. I guess I might as well just fatal push the Simeon Sphere Guide. Let's see why not. Push this now. Travis Tracker pulling its weight. Don't wrath me. Keep cracking clues here. See if I can draw a trophy or a pulse. Eight loyalty is a lot. It's just planeswalkers dot deck, huh? What else is my opponent playing here? Cast out. Kept attack Gideon. Uh. 
Hogging good. I'm gonna cast down my scavenging ooze. Oh god. This is brutal. Um, don't think I have any, I think I'm, I'm very close to conceding here, just so I can save time. This doesn't look good at all. I need, like, abrupt decay. Um, I'm just gonna concede here. I need an action that turn. Man, that's brutal. This deck is brutal. I guess I just want these guys. Stuff that just this sticky, like a sticky threat. Uh, excuse me. Probably just cut all the fatal push. I cut the last uh, brutality. Brutality doesn't have any relevant modes. I guess it hits rats. Uh, I guess it's six shaving one. I don't think I want two in the matchup. Man, these decks are just brutal today. Getting my ass kicked. Yes, I would like to go first. Sure. I hate these kind of decks. Because these decks are just designed to just beat, like, fair decks. Like, they have no chance against, like, the rest of the format. And it's like, of course, we, like, us fair decks just run into them, you know? Just brutal. Do you think they play Emrakul? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Sometimes they just value with Nihari, so I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Um, I'm going to play around Blood Moon just in case. What was that card that gains life? What does that do? What was the purpose of that card? I don't get it. I'm just gonna spend the turn fulminating them. And the next time I can play Liliana. It's gonna turn into a land destruction deck, turn into a mini Ponza deck. I discard the LL Liliana. Wow. That well that answers your question, Ahmed. <laughs> Gonna keep ticking. Cause all the relevant spells are above. Three here. Don't want to discard Nissa. I want to play Tarmogoyf, so. Hmm. 
Oh wait, but I also want a plus with Nessa. That's our uh, plus with Luna. That's a thing. The blood moon. Got me. You got me. Thank gosh. And I'm doing it here and feel the run. Maybe he thinks Nihiri can bring him back, but I don't think he knows I have Manissa, so... Oh! This is so good, dude. I love Nissa. I think I'm gonna return Liliana back to my hand. This is so good. <laughs> so good. It's right back. A stupid free wind blood moon deck. Fuck that deck. Let's play magic here, folks. Not get free wins, man. Come on. I mean, this deck is just designed to beat us, which is so annoying. Oh, uh, this hand is really bad. Sure. Perfect. It's kind of cold to Blood Moon. But at least we have interaction to everything else. Why do decks run Field Ruin and Blood Moon? That doesn't make any sense to me. What does this card do? Is there any life gain in this deck other than the... Um... I 
think I'm going to play get, take Gideon here. That's Blood Moon and Path to Exile. And Feel the Ruin. I don't understand. It's a bold move, Cotton. So my opponent is hand is just trash now. Just gotta kill him before my opponent. Draw the fifth land, I guess. Guess I shouldn't commit too much to the board. Oh, the life linker. Good call. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh my gosh. I need to read the card. Didn't realize they can make tokens. That's unfortunate. I trophy this now. Didn't read the card. Oh, man. Gosh, darn it. Oh, man. Maybe I should have taken the Wrath earlier. I guess taking the Path was... Maybe it's, uh, yeah, maybe I, the correct line was, should, was just to take that enchantment.
That was so lucky. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, my opponent has a lot of live draws here. That's fine. I'm going to fill the run now. Just to play around Blood Moon, I can get a forest. Sure. Wow, I got him off a red source. That's lucky. That's lucky. So I need him not to draw a red source. Damn it. Um... I guess I just run out the goyf. Okay, the rest in peace. Man, this sucks. Yeah, I think I definitely played the first two turns wrong. Jeez. This is tilting. That's tilting. No. That's tilting. Uh, I'm gonna watch that game again. To see what I did wrong. Exactly. Oh, I think that's game. Game one, game three, game three. I knew I had another discard spell. Took Gideon, which is, I guess I should have taken the, this card, because then I could have taken Gideon next turn. Yeah, I think that was the misplay there. Darn. Live and you learn, I guess. You live and you learn. Oh, man. Okay. Gotta rally back, I guess. I gotta pull the John from the rock group, how he goes 0-2 and then strings three wins together. Call it the John Westoff special. Uh, wish I had better contact. Wish I wish I had better uh, content here showing me some wins, not getting wrecked. 
Because if I... I mean, not, not, not to necessarily say I would have won that if I went with that line. But... He drew that extra card off of the... Chip, or two cards. So... We'll see. I'll bet you discard but no threat. Tends really bad against Baron. Lightning Bolt, Searing Blaze, Searing Blaze. Take the Bolt, I guess. I guess I just take... I, I mean, I have to thought see the blazes away. The best draw right now is, is Tarmogoyf. Like, I need... I need a threat here. Okay. I guess I just Inquisition. Save the life. I mean, opponent's hand's pretty bad. But our hand just doesn't line up well. We just need a threat. Like, now these two Thoughtseize are dead, so we're kind of net even. Thought, uh, oh, give me a threat, please. Threat, please. Guess I just thought sees now. Don't think I feel the ruin. I think I just fetch for another. Scavenging ooze wouldn't even be that good because it doesn't gain life. That's fine. I think I'm gonna wait on this fatal push just in case I draw um, a little on the last toe, which I did not. So I'm just gonna push this. So now I just need to dodge my opponent's top. We'll draw steps. That was a good draw, I guess. Trophy this now. Hmm. Guess I can feel the run. The sacred foundry now.
Darn. <laughs> Getting fortunate with my opponent having bad top decks as well. Need to dodge two draw steps. Lucky. I'm getting lucky. Steve Way, how far in the league are you? I am 0 2 in this current league. I went 3 2 in the first league. So this is my second league tonight. Man, I got really lucky against Burn. I got really lucky there. That was very fortunate of me. Jesus. Um, Duress. Brutality. Kitchen Finks. I know Bardo, all the Thought Seizes. All the Dark Confidants. Lord Nissa. Two Fulminators. Yeah, I think that's... The, th the thing about my sideboard is it's not really geared to beat Burn. Like, I have Kitchen Finks, Brutality, and Duress, but this is kind of just there because it's better than a Dark Confidant, and two Fulminators are there just because it's better than the other two Confidants. <laughs> like, it's not good. I can try to cut off my opponent's White Source, like how I was doing, like, the second game, but... It's not the most ideal situation. Sand's also pretty bad. But I have interaction. So, let's see how it goes. Because I have a bunch of tap lands. Maybe this is a mulligan against Burn. Because it's so clunky. Everything comes as way tapped. Hmm. I think here I just. Uh, Just because I'm a mana base, I kind of want to play a tap land. Just so I can decay the Lava Mancer. I guess I can just fatal push the love mancer here. Excuse me. Or I can just decay. And then next turn play duress, fatal push something. I think that's the best use of my mana. It doesn't let really Lily next turn, but I think that's okay. Is he gonna Boros Charm to protect his Law Miser? That's bold. Okay. Kind of lines up with what I wanted to do. Push this. The rest of my opponent. Double Rift Bolt. Play my tree top. So I'm, a, I'm at a virtual six, which is rough. Mm. 
Wow, we didn't play the land? Oh, for seeing plays. Good call, good call. I can see him going for the Liliana here, but that seems kind of wrong. Please, off the top would be really good. I think I'm gonna fulminate here. Just kill a white source. I hope my opponent doesn't have any one mana off the top. That's okay. That was a good draw. That was a really good draw. That actually might be game winning there. I'm gonna leave the idol on my opponent's graveyard just in case of last hope. So now I think I'm going to exile the Eidolon. Uh... I'm one point short of lethal. Don't want to crack this fetch. So I think my opponent's locked out now. Don't think opponent has any outs here. I guess that Fulminator Mage was somewhat useful, I guess. Gain me a life. So my opponent still has the out of Boros Charm here. Lucky. That was lucky. Hopefully we can string a couple wins together before I gotta go. Sure. Bowling to five. Hands a lot better on the play with collective vitality, but Mountain.
Is it burn again? Probably some sort of arc like Phoenix deck. Maximize velocity. Wow. You may catch the card when you get out of his and then exile this card. Hint haste. Goodness gracious me. Guess I'm gonna trophy? This hollow one? Maximize velocity. I'm gonna wait to trophy it so just in case my opponent is short on mana I can exile Faithless Looting. So just like a weird variation of hollow one. I'm gonna exile the faithless looting here. Hopefully I can draw another land, I can Brutality and Tarmogoyf. I have a feeling there's Arc like Phoenix in this deck with Gut Shots. Another reason to exile the Faithless Looting. Yikes. I'm gonna escalate two modes, minus two, minus two, and drain. Uh, discarding Thoughtseize. And then I can set up a Liliana next turn. I wish I could have double spelled. Brutality and a goif. Really need another land. Hmm. That's cute. It's cute. It was a little clunky on our end, but board's clear. Point has one card in hand. Easy discard here. Ah, my opponent's just flooding now. These goys are huge too. I think about Treetop Village too is God, this deck turns the corner really fast. Like I'm cracking back for a 13 all of a sudden. That's insane. Ooh, Kalidus is a good draw. Sure.
Man, these goalies are big boys. Big boys. As Kalia shall lock it up. Call it a day. Let's wrap it up, boys. I'm like, I didn't see any Phoenixes, but I can almost guarantee there's Phoenixes in there. So I'm going to bring in the Graft Diggers Cages and Spell Bombs. Brutality. Kitchen Phoenix is pretty good. Um, I guess Language is actually pretty good here. Because there's no Anglers or Tasker's to worry about. I guess we bring in some Surgicals. Cut the four Planeswalkers. They don't do anything. I guess I can cut the Thought Seizes and the Dark Confidants. Maybe bring in a Damnation. Then I guess I can bring in, keep in one last Taupe. Sure. Might as well go, go, go something like this. Let's do it. Um, this hand's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. So bad. Oh, this hand's so good. That hand is so good. I'm going to bottom this because I think I need a threat here. You got it. I think I'm gonna fetch a f swamp here actually. Try to play somewhere on Blood Moon. Burning Inquiry, Burning Inquiry, Dismembering Lightning Bolt. Huh. Well, I guess we're playing Burning Inquiry. Um. I take the lightning bolt. Hmm. Uh, with my luck, my punch, probably gonna burning inquiry and take both my blooming marshes and my fate push and have no green source or removal for the flame blade adept. I hate it because when I was on Abs and play against Hollowed One, I never fucking discard Lingering Souls. Like, there was one time where I had three Lingering Souls in hand, and it was awful. <laughs> it was so bad. God, it was so tilting. Burning Inquiry Mountain. So he probably has mountain in hand, yep, and he's gonna bring inquiry. Ooh, no burning inquiry. I guess he wants to keep the Burning Inquiry just in case he has Flame Wake, Fame, the Arc Lake Phoenix. That was a good draw. Faithless loot. I like the mean leaving this mana open. 
So like if he discards a flame blade phoenix and then like gut shots me, I can exile it. Uh, excuse me. Um, discarding Manamorphos and another burning inquiry. So he has dismember in hand. Push the adept. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play Kitchen Finks here. Cause it's the least prone to dismember. It's kind of cool people are experimenting with all these uh, Arc Light Phoenix decks. There's so many of them. Like there's like Grixis, Blue White. It's in like Hollow One. Like this is Hollow One. Like there's so many different versions. Is it spells? So many people trying to make it work. It's cool. I like it. I'm in the position to race now. Especially if my opponent dismembers. I think that's a loose cyborg card. Because, like, now he has to just remember, but it's like we're in a race next situation now. So I don't know. I think that's a, I think that's bad sideboarding. Juicy jellyfish, thanks for the follow, man. Really appreciate it. Sure. <laughs> he discarded both Bedlam Revelers. Uh, it's on the stack. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I'm actually going to pop the spell bomb here. Now with the scavenging in his hand, hand. Knowing that he has Bedlam Revelers, which I, I kind of assumed, but just in case. Oh, now my voice had a like, dismember range. Oh, that's so good. Now I have lethal on the crackback next turn. Oh, did you discard the dismember? Oh yeah, he did. So I don't know any cards in his hand. So it doesn't matter. Attacking means he's dead, right? Guess he has bolt. I'm just gonna attack with all. He has to have double bolt. All right, climb it back. 
One more, boys. Come on, let's do this. John West off special here. Sure. Mold into six. I'm bottomed. It's good for us. Oh, we're against Tron. Oh, man. I'm going to take the star because it cycles and I have a decay for the oblivion stone come on green source off the top damn it's gonna be close Ooh. okay He's saying i have a puncher's chance i just need to keep my opponent off tron Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Show me some love here. A land would actually be the best draw here. So I can just play uh, Tarmogoyf into Tyler's Tracker and hope to draw. Like, the, the best top of, best draw would probably be land into more land. Oh, my God. Oh. How greedy am I? I think I just feel the run now. I could play Tarmogoyf, but that seems greedy. Discard spell would actually be good tier too. I'm actually going to play Tireless Tracker. It's the most mana efficient play we can do. And the clock between the difference in the clock between Tireless Tracker and Tarmogoyf isn't that much. Oh. Now I just need to hope he do I, I dodge payoffs here. Another fielder one off the top would be really good. Your opponent's like, should I pop this stone now? I need another fielder one for me to stay in the game. Ooh. Land. I mean, that just means my opponent just has no payoffs. GG. Uh, Tron. Put 
that's funny. Uh, so surgical, stamping spheres, fulminator mages, Nissa, I like Nissa because it's a hasty threat. Take out the pushes. Don't like Last Hope. Brutality is pretty bad. I like Cletus because it can cleanly answer one coil. If I have in play and I can pulse it or reveil it. Uh, and I guess I just kind of decay. Gosh darn it. Not like this. I only have two Fulminator Mages, so it isn't worth it. I don't, it's like, if I had three Fulminators, I like Last Hope, but if, if you only have two Fulminators and you top deck a Last Hope, it doesn't do anything. If it brought back Field of Ruin, then I would consider an, an argument for it, but you only have two cards in the 75, in the, 70, in the 60 that, like, synergize with it. Otherwise, it's just literally just a dead card. Come on, deck. <coughs> Going to four. Wow, that's a good that's a good four. That's a damn good four. Dude, if I went on a mold of four, fucking shit, dude. <laughs> I think I'm going to start luling now. I have to. Oblivion Stone. Wow. Guess I take the map, the card that guarantees a land drop. So I need to fade one land drop here. Asking a lot. Wow. So extracting tower. Wrong coil engine. <laughs> 
anything special about this stupid deck? Stirring star map card, blah blah. Pretty much he doesn't. So three, th th blah, three thrag tusks. God, that's a tongue twister. So he has a sphere in hand, I think. So I'm gonna hope that there's I could ultimate now. Guess I should ultimate now. Cause he has two draws, two I guess I'll just go like this. Play around Thrak Tusk. I should just go like that. Maybe go like this. Cause if I go with the other way, it gives my opponent three mana. So I think I like this. So can I be a Thrak Tusk? Ghost quarter, huh? Ghost quarter, my quagmire. Guess I just play the other one. Just race. Tarmogoyf. Guess I shouldn't have played the land because of Tireless Tracker. And my clock is anemic. Probably. You're probably right. Damn. Oh, 
a good draw. It's not blocking. Gonna animate here. Force him to use his ghost quarter. Two, three, four, five. I think I trophy the stone here. He has Karn. He's gonna Karn my Goyf. Or he can just blow up my the Oblivion Stone. I think I actually wait. Because if he Karns and minuses, he can't Karn, so he has to blow up stone. So I, I should actually trophy the stone, right? I should trophy stone. He only has five lands. I. That's his only out here. I don't. He goes quarter my quagmire. I think I trophy the stone. So he was only an out. Is another thrag tusk. He has a corn in hand. So he has to go land corn. So I'm gonna trophy the stone here. If he Karns, then he's yeah okay cool. <laughs> oh fuck Tron! <laughs> oh my god, on a mold of four, dude. So glad I got that on camera. Holy fuck. My god. <clears throat> I really hope I win this game. God damn it. Fuck Tron. Oh god. I hope I, my, my opponent mogul is for this game because fuck that.
mom get the camera. <laughs> Uh oh. They put it tilt off. Is he just not wanting to play magic anymore? <sighs> Hello? Hello? Well, I guess it's a good time. 14 viewers, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you guys like what you guys see, please click the follow button on Twitch. And if you guys want more up-to-date uh, stream, I guess when I'm going to stream, please follow me on Twitter. Oh, my goodness gracious. I guess I take ancient stirrings. Sarah Dorsey, thanks for tuning in, man. Appreciate it. Hope we have any good Thanksgiving. That was a good draw. <sighs> Natural Tron, huh? Think you're so cool. He didn't tutor for any, huh? Versus the mine. Guess I'll take the mine. So I guess I should always go for a tower, huh? Surgical would have been a sick rip instead of the scavenging ooze. <sighs> uh, I mean, there's a huge debate. You can either either always hit the last one. The thing about it is like if if you leave them the tower, and they assemble Tron, they just gain infinite more mana. Like if they if you. Like if you, if they just keep, okay. For example, how do we word this? So, if let's say my opponent top decks, let's say I leave the tower right. And my opponent top decks more towers, more towers, more towers. And then top decks the missing Tron piece. He has infinite more mana. Well, that makes sense. So yeah, I mean, you you, you can hit tower. You, should, you can leave the tower because they're always searching for the other pieces. But I'd rather hit the tower and then... So if they end up... Because game, this game's going to go long. I'm not going to kill him fast. So if they end up having multiple towers, they're gonna have multiple. They're gonna have more access to more mana later in the game. Once, if and when they do assemble Tron. Is my opponent just like tilting off and just like slow playing this stuff? Like, let's be real here. I think he's tilting off. He's like, oh, he went. My opponent went turn two damage for turn two field and two in a row. It's like fuck, dude. Just play the. Guy. Like, I'll gladly take the win if he's going to time out. Like, uh, assuming the other two cards on my opponent's hand is dead, I think I'm going to take the Oblivion Stone and then I can abrupt decay the other Oblivion Stone.
Bob125281. I would appreciate it if you weren't stalling. Thanks. I guess I'll make another plug. Yeah, if, uh, I appreciate everyone for tuning in. 13 viewers. If you guys like what you see, please uh, hit the follow button on my Twitch channel and then follow me on Twitter for more up to date. Um. I just take stone. Could take stirrings. I think I'm gonna just take Oblivion Stone. Cause I like if he stirrings he I, he wants to go for Oblivion Stone. <laughs> Maybe it is in the tank to take uh, to pick which basic. Maybe. Maybe. So an untapped green source would be the best draw here. I could decay stone and play scavenging ooze. So now I can just play double scoos and go to town. I can see that. That logic makes sense, Ahmed. I don't know any cards on my opponent's deck or in hand. That's a good draw. It's a fast clock. Oh, I don't have enough land. Uh, I'm gonna trophy the Oblivion Stone here. I'm gonna play Bob, I think. This game's really close. I need my opponent to whiff on a lot of draw steps. I 
I, I don't, I'm definitely not advantaged right now. Landed are going to be pretty rough. Jeez, what is my opponent doing? The thing about it is he's at the point where he can hard cast his top end spells. So trying to take him off Tron isn't going to do anything. Like, we're at the stage of the game where Trophy is going to hit threats and not, um, and not lands. Maybe they are ghosting. I mean, if you're that bad, you have to ghost against, like, your good matchup. That's pretty sad. Not a bad draw. Hopefully their hand is not Worm Coil or Thrak Tusk. That was good. Where did I reveal dress? Okay. Um Yeah, I think we just beat face. Dodge one straw step. Karn, you, you have lethal. One draw step. Come on, baby. I guess they have Ghost Quarter. Also, boss is a good draw. I left the I took the brutalities out. Fade. Fade. Oh my god, yes. Fuck Tron. Fuck yes. <laughs> god, that feels so fucking good. Fuck that dude. <laughs> Pretty insane top of the deck for an unplayable strategy. Fuck Tron. Fuck the hell, dude. <laughs> oh my god. John Westhoff special, man. Start off 0 2. Fucking N3 2 beat Tron last match. Fuck Tron. Oh my god. Fuck that feels good, dude. <laughs> that feels so fucking good. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god.
god. The thing about it is, like, my opponent literally had very few outs. I guess Thrag Tusk can be an out. I don't see any creatures in the yard. Yeah, so he could have. He could block my Tarmogoyf. Take four from my creatures. Um. Yeah, I, I think so. Like Thragtus buys him another turn. Um. Right. Yeah, Thragtus buys him another turn. I think. Yeah. So it's Ugin. So if he has Ugin, then I'm fine because I can pulse and then scooze. Karn doesn't do anything. I'm trying to think of other outs. Oblivion Stone would buy him another turn. So literally every out he has, because of my Maelstrom Pulse, means he needs to draw two life spells in a row. So it was actually very, very favorite to win that game and that last draw step. But goddamn, that feels so fucking good. It doesn't matter. Because <laughs> god, oh, I guess Runecrow fucks me over too. Um, yeah, Runecrow is kind of fucks me hard. So Runecrow would have been a solid, like, oh, he would have stabilized. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Fuck Tron. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Sierra Dorsey. That's awesome. Really appreciate it, dude. Appreciate the follow. I'm really glad whoever is tuning in right now or watching this. I don't care. I only went 3 2 on both leagues, but this last match made it up for everything. Because, God, it feels so good. <laughs> Beat Tron on, the, on a mold of four and fucking. The dude's all talking shit, and we beat him anyway on game three, talking about how our strategy is unplayable. I'm actually going to post this in the Rock Facebook group. <laughs> oh, man. I actually got to go. I got to grab dinner with my girlfriend, but um, I'm this is fun. I'm really glad everyone tuned in uh, to witness Tron getting bent over. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, like I said, if you guys want to support the channel, please follow me on Twitch to get, I guess, up to date, like right when I start streaming, if you get notifications for that. If not, you can follow me on Twitter. I try to post on Twitter a couple hours in advance. Um, what, uh, like if I'm going to be, usually I stream, like let's say on Wednesdays, I'll try to post like in two in the afternoon, one in the afternoon, then I'll be posting that later, later that evening. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate it. Sierra Dorsey. I will definitely post this video in the fucking rock group. It's going to be glorious. <laughs> oh man, but I really appreciate everyone tuning in. It was a lot of fun. This is why I do it for you guys. This is awesome. But yeah, really appreciate it. Take it easy, guys. Hope to catch you guys soon. Hope you guys have a good rest of the Thanksgiving weekend. I know I will. But yeah, take it easy, guys. Appreciate it. Let me add a note on my deck list here. Alright guys, take it easy. Appreciate it.